Okay, welcome to the second part of the auto suggest field tutorial. In this part of the tutorial, we're going to be creating the markup for the index page, so the page that you know you're going to first land on, um, and then we're going to start to implement like the style sheet. We're not probably not going to be touching on styles in this um, part of the tutorial. Um, you know, implementing jQuery our JavaScript file etc so we're starting to build up our directory structure um, as you can see at the moment I've just got index.php so we're going to be building the directory structure as we go we're not gonna you know do it all in one go so the first thing we want to do is we want to uh, declare our doc type um, I'm gonna declare a, a doc type for HTML5 uh, only seems uh, necessary and basically this means that if we do want to implement any HTML5 elements in the future um, then we can, so it just makes everything um, a lot better. So I'm going to create a head uh, for this and I'm going to give it a title. So let's just give it a title of auto suggest field. And uh, down here we want to give a link to our style sheet. So we want to say link rel equals style sheet. Um, HTML5 doesn't require a type, so we can just say href and this is the link to our style sheet. Now our style sheet is going to be in a, a CSS folder and we're going to call this screen.css and all our styles are going to be contained in there so in the next part of the tutorial we're going to you know be creating the actual style sheet itself. Let's come down and create the body of the document and in here we want to go ahead and around here create our field and down here we want to include our scripts. So if we go over to our browser and we load up jQuery.com and we click download here making sure we've got the production version selected uh, we can go ahead and just copy and paste this URL in. Um, you know probably better to save a local copy of this but just uh, to save time um, when I'm creating things like this I prefer to just take the URL straight from uh, the jQuery uh, website. So let's go ahead and create our script tags. Again uh, HTML5 doesn't require you to give a type on this so we can just say script source equals. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just paste that straight in. Okay and don't forget your ending script tag. So the next one script source equals and this is going to be our custom um, JavaScript file uh, that we're going to be going and creating our um, well the functionality to allow us to to uh, do what we're doing here and this is going to be in a JS folder and I'm going to call this primary.js it's just any general uh, styles that we want um, you know keeping it to one file okay so now that we've done that we need to start going ahead and building up the actual um, you know elements so let's go ahead and close off jQuery uh, you can see at the moment we've got nothing on our page uh, we want to start going ahead and building up first of all the text in well, the input field that we're going to be able to type in uh, the search button which is irrelevant and then the drop down uh, for the results so uh, in here we want an input and the type is going to be text and the class we're going to give this a class so we can identify it is going to be auto suggest okay so after this we're going to create our submit button now notice I'm not ending script tags like that that's uh, another HTML5 thing yeah you're not required to um, end a self-contained um, element so we don't need to use um, a forward slash there um, I'm gonna go ahead and give this a value and I'm gonna call that search Now, like I said before our search button doesn't do anything it's just there for show at the moment uh, in case you did want to incorporate some kind of search uh, so now we've got our search field essentially and our uh, search button uh, now what we want to do is go ahead and down here create a div um, with a class of drop down that's going to allow us to display our results so we're not going to be styling this just yet but we are going to be um, creating the markup so we create a, uh, a div area and I'm going to call this drop down and then inside of here we want an unordered list now the unordered list is uh, essentially we're going to style this out so it displays us a list of results um, it's semantic it makes semantic sense to do it like this so ul and then we're going to say class equals result and then in here what we're going to do is we're not actually going to create any um, 
we're not actually going to create any um, LIs because that's going to be passed through for PHP. But in order to style it, we need to actually create some of these, um, you know, so we can see what we're styling. Uh, so I'm just going to come in here and type in London, Manchester, and let's say New York. So I'm typing three examples in. Uh, so when we go ahead and preview that in the browser, uh, you see we've got this. Now it's far from finished at the moment, but in the next part we're going to be styling this up. Um, that involves getting rid of the list uh, bullets here, pulling this across and up, and then giving it a border for each one. So, you know, it might look difficult, it might look hard to style, but in actual fact, our style sheet is quite short and it's probably longer than it could be. I've just, you know, sort of taken an easy route round here. Um, uh, it's not a CSS tutorial, but we are going to be styling this as best we can um, and as efficiently as we can. So in the next part, um, we are going to look at styling it. We've completed um, our markup. Everything is there that we need. Um, we've created our uh, job, well, our reference to our JavaScript and our, st uh, our style sheet file. Um, and yeah, in the next part, we're going to start styling this up.